You're gonna have to take a check. Oh, come on, check. Mm -hmm. Help me spend this. Sorry, Frank. The world's changed. Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank, you got a minute? Hey, Francis, Frank. what's happening? Hey, man, give me a break. Just listen, okay? Okay, keep moving. Then Frank, Eddie wants his money. I gotta tell you, it's my new job now. Come on, Frank, pay Eddie what you owe him. Pay him something as an act of good faith. Damn, Frank, you owe Eddie. Come on, I'm not a traitor, Frank. Well, I'm gonna pay Eddie, Francis. Because guess what's gonna happen? What? The Eagle and I are gonna win the Nationals.
Got a flat, huh? Uh, yeah. Yes, my... Frank Shelby. My Jack's, uh... Take a look there. The jack don't work. Yes, that's what I was saying, the jack. You got one in the truck. Cracker. A jack would be be great. Stick there, root in your mouth. Have a baby thick. No time. You sure? Boy. Yep. Uh, God. Be right back at her. Just give me a second. Uh, yeah, Frank Shelby. I'll need some other form of ID, Mr. Shelby. Your driver's license is from out of state, and uh, an American Motorcycle Association card isn't satisfactory. Guess I should see your supervisor. All right. It's really not reflecting the No, no, I'm looking at them right now. Excuse me, Kate. Hold on a second. I need a check. I'll have to get back to you tomorrow. Yes, this gentleman is from out of state. I'll take care of it. Mr. Shelby. Well, I'm amazed. You still got a driver's license. How are you feeling? Huh? Your back's still sore? You look slightly better than you did last night. Flat tire. You stopped to help. You passed out. I fixed it. Anyway, it's the thought that counts. Thank you.
Anybody know where I can get a bike fixed around here? Looks like you need a tune-up. How's the back? Never better. Ball. My room ready? It's yours. Any idea how long? Long enough to get ready for the National. The National? Don't you just love it? I'm gonna clean up, drop the stuff off. Meet you at the cantina? You got it. Is that Frank Shelby? Yeah, 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 that's Frank Shelby. Travis, are you back there, Francis? Frank, I want my money. No more talk, just pay up. Are you serious? You're gonna beat me up? Yeah. For a lousy two thousand bucks? Four. Two. Four. Two. You guys talking business? Jack, I've had it up to here with Shelby's crap. It's pay up time. You wanna beat me up, Jack? Oh, well then it is business. <laughs> I suggest another time, another place, okay, where this whole ugly matter can be handled reasonably without all this animosity and temper. Okay, let me talk to Frank. I'm sure we can come up with a solution, Eddie, that you'll be comfortable with. Hey, stranger. Stranger, how you doing? I know what you're having, and I know what you want. Mm -hmm. Make it a double. How's Louise? Louise is fine. <laughs> she says hi. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, you've got yourself a team. Yeah. Any good? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Young. A lot of potential. No screw ups. <laughs> Sponsors interested? You know, we could actually amount to something. Huh. I'm out of here too. Want to get together and tell lies about the good old days? you doing?
Frank, why didn't you just pay him? Come on. Frank! Get out. Oh. Get out. Follow my finger. I don't like the looks of that bump on your head. I'm gonna have to run some tests. Tattoo. How'd you get that scar? Racing motorcycle. What happened? Did you crash or something? Yeah, I crashed. Why don't you just shut up and leave me alone? What are you doing? It's okay, Mom. No, it is not okay. Why are you yelling at my son? Let's go. You have a concussion, Mr. Shelby. You need bed rest. When can I get back on a bike? Mr. Shelby. And I look at these x-rays, and I see a man with more broken bones than I've seen in a single human being before. Has both arms, both clavicles, metal plates, a spine that's been fused in three places. And those are the old injuries. <laughs> I'm amazed that you can walk. And added to that, a concussion. Bed rest. I heard you. When can I get back on a bike? Fine. The dizziness and stuff, that's gonna pass, ain't it? Perhaps with bed rest. Thanks. Danny? Danny? You all right? What are you doing? I'm doing a tattoo. A tattoo? Yeah. I am so hungry. Thank you. You are. This is good news. I like to hear this. Oh, man. Mom, do you have to go? Yeah, I gotta go home. Get my toes, go to work. But it's Friday. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> I want my horse. You got it. So, I will be back tonight, 6.30. You have a good day. I love you.
you doing? Uh, stop by the gift shop. I got some stuff for you. Got the uh, uh, horses drinking at the lake. And the zebras drinking at the lake. And I got some bike magazines. This one here has got uh, pictures of girls in it, so you might want to check them out for your mom, Susan. Hmm. How was your mom? Want it? Yeah, well, I can do without her or your old man getting pissed at me. Don't have a dad. You know uh, what happened the other day? Yeah. Okay. See ya. You going home? Yeah. Yeah, he's good. Real good. He's aggressive, he's smooth. Ma main thing is he needs more seed time. Yeah, uh, but as far as marketing skills, he, he doesn't have a clue. <laughs> You're gonna hate him. The guy you wanna look at is number 42, Hugh O'Neill. He's a kid, he's 22. There's not an ounce of fat on him. He's got great reflexes, and I got his bike as tuned out as he is. Scrambling back to his bike, he wants to get the motorcycle back on two wheels. Eighty wants back in the race. Meanwhile, Shelby thundering. Oh, Shelby has slammed in the back of Jack Hicks' bike. Shelby tumbles again over end down the back stretch. A horrible drag. Not a turn two. There's Hayes running to his fallen friend. The red flag flies. The race stops. Medical personnel rushing to the scene. What an irony. Jack Hayes will be the national champion. Shelby will lose the ground because he slammed into the back of his best friend, Frank. Mike. Frank. God, you look old. Place has turned into something, Jack. Yeah. Yeah, just kind of grew up on its own. <laughs> you proud of this? Look, I uh, <clears throat> I talked to Ginger. And I got your bike back. And then I had a long talk with your doctor. Time to get off, Frank. Do something that's good for you. You know, for once. In your life!
Frank. You're drinking these things like they're water. Did you get divorced? Or did you fall in love? I go to the bank. <laughs> Apologize to a kid, you know. It was, um, I don't know, stupid. Oh, hey, Francis. Won't it be? Francis, my man, come on, have a seat. You want something? A soda, just soda, thanks. No, 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 no. No, not, not a soda. Um, maybe, uh, Milk. Milk. Look, Frank. Come on, man. It was your fault, man. Just just let it ride, will you, Frank? I mean, it's all finished now. Eddie's not angry anymore. So just just let it go, will you, mm. man? No. Eddie ain't angry. Mm. Trash me. They trashed my bike. Let it go, Frank. I'm sorry, Frank. I never meant for you to get Shut up. up. Francis. <clears throat> yeah, Frank. Told you to shut up. Hey, Frank. Just let it go. Sorry, Frank. I thought with Jack repaying Eddie, you, you know, you'd be okay with everything and all. You know. Frank! Shelby, how are we feeling? Mm -hmm. Not too good, is my guess. Well, it's good to see you back. Although I'd hoped it would have been as an outpatient. But then, given your lifestyle, I doubt whether you would have followed through. You drank much, Mr. Shelby? Let me put it to you plainly. We're going to keep you here for a few days. Test that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Now the ribs have been re-damaged and there's a deep bruise along the lower back, site of the former injury. I'll check back with you later. Oh, one more thing, Mr. Shelby. Did you hit your head when you fell? No one at the bar seems to remember. The game is tied. Phoenix doesn't call a timeout, and Bart steals the inbound pass. He's into the corner with nowhere to go, and he lets loose with a fall away 15-footer. And it's good, and the Lakers win. Yeah! Nice shot. Dr. Chan, pediatrics. Dr. I probably would have missed it. Pediatrics. Hey, you got a minute? I want you to pull up the chair, sit down. You get hurt racing again? Yeah. Yeah, rookie took me out. How long are you here for? A couple days, I guess. I gotta do some tests and crap. How come you're still here? Same thing. Tests and stuff. Like a jail, ain't it? You been in jail? Yeah. What's wrong with you? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Ain't they telling you? Is there something wrong with my blood? Like what? It doesn't work right. Well, if it don't work right, you fix it. My bike breaks, I fix it. It's simple. What's your bike look like? I got a picture of a lady who knock you right out. <clears throat> hey, do you like the magazines I got you? Me. Here. Feast your eyes on this. 
Wow, nice. Nice? Come on, that's as good as it gets. You called it the Eagle? Her. My bike. It's a lady, the Eagle. How fast does it go? Well, it goes as fast as she wants to. Fast I let her. You ever been to a race? No. Oh, man. Flat tracking is awesome. Sends a chill up and down my spine. It's like thunder, only all at once, and then wham! Hits you right in the chest. Oh, you're gonna love it. Here, you, you take the eagle. My mom might. What? Come on, my what? Wonder who the girl is. Huh. Shelby. Danny Barnes. Mm -hmm. Good to meet you, Danny. Can I call you Frank? Well, maybe. Let's see how it goes. Man, I tell you, if I start working out, I think I get myself ready for the national. I'm gonna get used to the pain, that's all. Grab one of them. Yeah. Bring it down here, Danny. Right. Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sacramento Mile, the king of the flat track racing circuit. <laughs> Today's main event features a grudge match you've all been waiting for. Pitts Frank. The Eagle Shelby, thank you very much, really appreciate it. Up against the rookie sensation of the season, uh, Danny, the what? The Outlaw. The Outlaw, Danny the Outlaw Barnes, yeah! yeah. Ha, hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. This could be the race of the season. <laughs> A five lap dash for cash and bragging rights for life. Hey kid, what's your name? Casey. Casey, yeah, stand up there, hold your hand up for five seconds, then drop it. You ready? Rev it up, man. Rev it up. Go ahead. Go! Go! Yeah! Yeah! Uh -huh. supposed to say I'm scared I'm worried you were doing so great Danny and then along comes this drunk this bum Frank's not a bum the point is it's critical it is important that you take care of yourself I feel fine mom I promise not to screw up to be responsible it's cool it's cool you're starting to sound like him okay Danny we have an understanding right Give me five. The latest cycle of drugs hasn't improved Danny's condition. His white cell count is still way up. 
So what now? We'd like to start the new therapy. When? Tomorrow. Every time he tries something new, he gets worse. He's been through so much. We keep trying. I know. Okay, I'll tell him. Switch to coffee. Yeah. National. In training. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Well, we get this thing run. Maybe bring it out to the track. Show my boys how it shouldn't be done. Thanks, Jess. Excuse me, Mr. Shelby? Good. Very good. Oh, Jack Hayes. Catherine Barnes, nice to meet you. Well, I'll, I'll leave you to Mr. Shelby. Once he starts talking, you can't shut him up. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mrs. Uh... Uh, Ms. Barnes. Ms. whatever. Shelby. <laughs> oh, Mr. Shelby. Is Mr. Shelby. Mr. Shelby. Is this where you work? Kinda, yeah, yeah. I want to talk to you about Danny. He likes you very much. I'm sure you know that. What you don't know is how much your little race the other day affected him. He's very ill, Mr. Shelby. He is taking a medication which restricts his physical capabilities. If he had fallen or hit something hard, the results could have been disastrous. I mean, as it is, he's very weak, anemic. Uh, do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes, I do. Think. Dr. Daly tells me that you are one of his outpatients. I suppose you'll be visiting the hospital. Danny would like to see you again. If you do visit him, please, no games, no physical activity, all right? Would you say goodbye to Mr. Hayes for me? Sure. Oh, I, I have one more favor to ask you. When you see Danny, will you, you know, watch your language around him? He's starting to sound like you. for you. You think so? What the hell's he doing? <coughs> Getting in shape to kick your butt. Kind of pathetic. <laughs> Bright green leather 
ribbon to tie your hair with and a ring for every finger. I know where you're going and I know who's gone with you. I used to sing to her before she was sick. Mm, when she was scared and she'd have bad dreams. There was so much life here. Mm. So much hope. We believed she would get better. So much life in this place. It's true. What? Do you think it's true that they s stay? I mean, could she still be here? You know, maybe she's at home. She won her toys. Oh. <laughs> just gave him a shot t 10 minutes ago. He's a great kid. Should be proud. Should, uh... I'll be back here in 20 minutes, I promise. He was diagnosed 18 months ago, and the first series of chemo worked really well. And he went into remission for a year. And, uh, and two months ago, yeah. cancer cells came back. And the thing they seem to try does any good. Now they're trying something new. If that doesn't work, he's one of a kind. What? He's one of a kind. He's got a gift. And those are the ones that make it. Well, if it were that simple, Mr. Shelby, half the beds in this hospital would be empty and you would be a millionaire. Danny's fought. He's refused to give up. But after a little while, you need a little help. I mean, he can't just make himself better because he wants to get better. We're talking about cancer, Mr. Shelby, not a common cold. Do you call me Frank? All right. Danny's got help. He's got more than most. He's got you. And you got to want it for him. You can't give up. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. You don't have any idea about the time and the care and the prayers. Don't you dare pass judgment on me or on Danny because you are totally ignorant of the people and the circumstances involved, Frank. You're right. I, I don't know you. But me and Danny, we got something going man thing. <laughs> I know what it's like to live with pain. And I know that the pain can get so bad that dying seems like the only solution. Now, all I want to do is spend a little time with your son, just, just get to know him. 
No racing, no swearing. Just parts. That's okay. straight and I skidded I don't know maybe 50 feet down there that'd have been okay but a rookie ran over me and then this one here you see that I got that in Castle Rock I hit the wall in the back straight doing about 130 did it hurt much heck yeah it hurt Hi. Danny has to go to sleep for this procedure but you can stay until then On. Frank, do you ever get scared? Yeah. I think everybody's scared of something, Dan. I know that's why I do what I do. That's why I race. I mean... I was at the shop, I was trying to figure out what to bring you. I wanted to bring you something. Your mom kind of told me what's going to be going on, so I brought you the eagle. She, uh, she's a hood ornament on my 51 Ford my truck for a long time, about 20 years. Hmm travel across the country together and we did a lot of new things for the first time and uh, I got busted up I was in the hospital 
And the doc said I'd never ride again. I want to tell you, young man, that was the scariest time of my life. All I had was her, so I just picked her up and I just held her tight. And I believed with all my heart that one day I'd ride again. And you did. You damn bet you. Darn rights, I did. And I'll tell you something, I think. And she'll work for you. Just hold her real tight, Danny. And just believe with all your heart. And I give you my word that the eagle will protect you. You and her just ride the wind. Jetting seemed to help, huh? Pay these little visits, you know. <clears throat> Come around, clean up, brace. Then you go back to whatever hell you cook up for yourself. That's what you've been doing since you got busted up. And watching you yesterday, riding like the eagle, finding a feeling. Time was that it brought tears to my eyes. I mean it, like a living dream, Frank. Now I, I, I just get a s sort of sad feeling because I don't know who I'm watching. I mean, the man you want to be, the man who was. I, I just stopped believing a long time ago it's the man you are. But you fool me. You, you show up this time and get drunk, screw up. All the bad luck hanging on you like always. But something's different. I can't put my finger on it, but you're different. I mean, a part of me is saying, watch out, Jackie. He, he, he's going to burn you big. I don't believe I ever heard you say thank you to me in all the years I've known you. And I've never known you to be kind. But I heard you say thanks, Jack. And there is a kindness in you, Frank, i never seen before. Part of me is believing again.
Francis, you could cough or something, you know? You scare the hell out of me. I'm like a cat. Silent. Walking on velvet pads. Hey, is this the kid's back? Yeah. For a friend. It's going to be a small version of your back. Yeah. Thought so. Thought so. Yeah, man, I... I think I know what's going on here. Something wonderful is about to happen. This is a good idea, Frank. This is a fine idea. Hey, Francis. You know the other day at the bar when I trashed you? Sorry. No offense. <laughs> Didn't hurt. Didn't have any Frank power behind it. It was kind of weak like. Of course, you were drunk. <sighs> Frank. She wants me to find her heart. She said you're too busy. I would really appreciate that, Francis. Okay. Done deal. You look good, Frank. Thinner. Uh-oh. Huh? You're losing some hair on the top there, though. Hey, how old is this kid? No, don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. She'll tell me. Oh, it's good to talk with you, Frank. It's real good to talk with you. Oh, it's been too long. <laughs> hey, I'll probably have something for you in a day or two, all right? I got myself a blender. I don't know. Do you think it's too California? Uh... Sort of like it used to be, huh, Frank? I'd like to take you to dinner tonight. Oh, Frank. Uh, thank you, but Danny expects yeah, me at pick, the hospital every I'll night. I'll pick you up at the hospital. It's 7.30. Danny's going to be resting by then, and come on, I, I promise to have you back at 9 o'clock sharp. Thank you, but no. What kind of food do you like? What? Food. What kind of food do you like? See, I need to know in order to make a reservation. I mean, fancy's okay, but not too fancy, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Great. I'll see it's 7.30. Bye. You know, the fa fancy, I don't have a suit. <laughs> you more excited about this than a Lakers game, aren't you? You're making me nervous. I want you to have a great time. Have some fun. I mean, don't spill stuff. And don't make him mad. Don't worry about me and then leave early. Have dessert, stay out, go to a movie. And? You gotta talk about bikes at some point. Bring them up over coffee or something. Just drop a comment like, Team Harley lost John Forbes. 
Or that you heard Randy Lewis had a European sponsor. Wait a minute, hold on. I don't even know what you're talking about. It doesn't matter, Mom. It shows you're interested. That makes him interested. Well, it is just dinner. Okay, maybe that's too technical. <sighs> this is better. Come on, pay attention, Mom. I am listening to your every word. Tell him that you heard me talking about the Nationals. Ask him about how important they are. That's good, because if he starts talking about them, you'll know what to ask. Okay, I will do my best, I promise. I will have a great time, I will not spill anything. I will try to say something halfway intelligent about motorcycles, and I will be back here at 9 o'clock sharp, okay? Mom? What? Do you like him? What? Do you like Frank? You do like him. <laughs> when you come back, could you bring Frank? I want to show him something. Sure, I'll ask him. You are the neatest kid in the world, you know that? <laughs> I love you. Mom, you look fantastic. Bye. It was a gift. We've been trying to have a baby for a long time, and Danny came out. He was perfect, <laughs> distinct. Yes, Danny. Oh, mommy. He got sick, and Stephen couldn't handle it, so we left. Did you love him? I did, yeah, I think so. What about you? Have you ever been in love? No. Hmm. <laughs> Would you like another drink? Yes, thank you. Oh, I, oh my God. I don't believe this. Oh, I am so... I used to spill stuff all the time. Oh, um, I know what I wanted to ask you. I wanted to ask you about the National. Shoot. Um, is it important? Yeah. like to dance. talk to Frank for a minute in private? Sure. I'll take a walk.
These are my mom's tools. But she lets me use them. I did this. It's kind of hard to tell it's a horse. Got better on this one. This is nice. This is my best one. This is beautiful work, Danny. You can be proud of him. I carved him because I was afraid. He doesn't look afraid, does he? Well. Can't tell for sure. I mean, don't look afraid. Then again, that can fool you. I bet you refused to ask him, he'd tell you he was afraid of something. Like what? No, well, I don't know. Being alone, growing old. Maybe the fear that, that one day, Fear is going to replace your courage. You got a name? I haven't thought of one. I think if you want to find out what he's afraid of, you got to ask him. Huh. I know what I'd call him. Kind of looks like him, too. What? Danny. What the hell you think is going on here? Trivia? Playtime? You don't even know what a ratchet is, so please, don't go near the lady. You understand? Who says? Who says? Who says? What's that supposed to mean? Who says? Who says? Who says? Who says? I don't know who says. God says. Francis? What's going on? Tell him, Frank. Tell them, please, not to touch her. They know zip. I come in, final tune, Frank, final tune. And they're all hovering around her like buzzards. Just wanted to help. You know what I'm saying, Frank. Well, Francis is Chief Wrench. You gotta check with him first. Look, Francis. Mr. Bartley. Rookie. Mr. Bartley, we'd like to help. Who says? You name it, we'll do it. Any pointers you could give us, we'd appreciate. We just want to be part of this. Let me think about it. Now you boys get out of here for now. Let me ruminate. <clears throat> Come on, you guys. That's pretty well done. You're learning. A little bit at a time. They'll appreciate her. Thank you, Francis. He had the attack 40 minutes ago. You've medicated him? No, we're all set. Okay, right away, let's get him to ICU. All right. Did you open up the RV? Yeah. We'll take good care of him. Straight on out. Just 
give us your card. I'd like to make a copy. Diane, can I show you? Yeah. 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 Give you this. <sighs> if he dies, I want to be there. I want to catch his spirit. to give you the wings earlier, but they weren't done. I figured since you gave me yours, you'd need some for the Nationals. Hope you like them. I want to ask you a favor, Frank. My mom, I think, really likes you. And just in case something happens to me, I was hoping you could take care of her. Don't tell her, or, but just in case. Thanks, Frank. Hey, guess what? I got to know Danny like you said. Where'd you learn that trick? Your pal, Danny. Is this what you want? There you go. Let him live. Just 
Please. What a job you did on that breakfast. I got a secret. What? Promise not to tell? You get to go back to your own room this afternoon. Honest? Honest. Knock, knock. Who's there? Me. took him in and and we became like like brothers and uh now we raced in europe together and we raised a lot of hell <laughs> and then he had his accident and uh he was out for a few years by the time he got back i'd gotten married and had my first kid and he uh just kept going downhill until he ran into you and Danny. No, he, he's got something he actually cares about. So what time do you want us there? Well, um, I figure the main starts uh, about three, so we'll pick you up at quarter after two. Okay. And uh, things should be real comfortable for you and, and Danny. Thank you, Jack. No, thank you. You asked me to take care of your mom in case something happened to you? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do that. But I want you to be there, Dan. I want you and me to do it together. And the second thing is, it's going to be my last race tomorrow. And it would be an honor to me. It would be a privilege if I could wear your colors out there. That way, it'd be like the Barnes Shelby racing team. 
I got your old bandana. I'll put him on my arm. And you and me be out there together. What do you say? Holy mackerel! You better stay out of the sun. You don't have much hair on the top of your head. You could get melanomas or warts or something. Let's go to work. Final lap, it's a two-man battle, ladies and gentlemen. 
the final third.